What's up guys? Uh, it's February 15th, 2012 and today's a very cool special day because it is the release of the next version of this. The PSP. I loved the PSP a lot and it was amazing the system. I uh, Not many people I think liked it as much as they should have had a lot of great titles and as you can tell I loved PSP a lot I have four of them Re there is a reason though to having multiple PSPs for me I didn't just get them because uh, you know I felt like it first of all this was my original one day one release this one broke and then I had ended up re-getting um, it you know after calling customer service and not and whatnot and this is it this is the, the original original the thing I got it like a day or two after it's released. This is the one from day one release. This was the one bundled with uh, Jack and Daxter. I mean, um, Daxter the game. I'm sorry. And um, this one was also awesome. when the Slim first came out. And this is my newest one, the 3000. And I use this one just to play um, UMD games now. This one I had hacked just for fun, just because I love technology a lot. And I just wanted to see what it could do. So I, I would just like to play a lot of retro stuff, nothing like actual PSP games. This one I, f I did the same thing with as uh, this PSP modding, and um, I just you know wanted to have it on the slim so I like to play Genesis and Super Nintendo games and whatnot. And like I said, this one I play my PSN games and my actual PSP games. But we're not here to talk about PSP today. Nope. We're here to talk about. The PlayStation Vita, which just launched today in the U.S. As far, well, the first edition bundle has launched in the U.S. today. And, uh, go ahead and put this down so we can go ahead and unbox this. So, first edition bundle, what does it come with? Well, it comes with the PlayStation Vita, the 3G slash Wi-Fi version, as you can see right there. And it comes with a limited edition PlayStation Vita case, as well as a 4 gig memory stick for the PlayStation Vita, and the PlayStation Vita game, Little Deviants. And as you guys can see, uh, this came like that. I bought it from Best Buy, it just came back, and it just came like that. It just tells you right here the things it comes with, which is what I just said. This is the back of the, the, the box, in case you guys wanted to like to see it. it. Tells you the contents right there, what it has. Uh, just says the logo. So without further ado, let's go ahead and unbox this. Okay, I got it open so you didn't have to just go through something that was so simple. <laughs> Regardless, here you go. Here's your uh, actual PlayStation Vita, but let's hold off on that and let's check out the other stuff. Um, a bunch of uh, pamphlets and uh, AR play cards. I guess they're trying to do what Nintendo does with those cards that they made that I didn't even use once. Um, here's your 4 gig memory stick that comes with it. As you see here. Provides 1 to 2 full games, 3 movies, 1,142 songs, or 800 photos. So, obviously, you're going to store... Uh, Stuff like that. Here is uh, Little Deviance, as you see here. I'm probably going to do a separate unboxing for this. Because um, I did also pick up with it separately Ultimate Marvel vs. Capcom 3. Now, I do have this on the Xbox 360, but you know, I figured I wanted to get it for that too. And the last thing in here is the limited edition case. Which feels kind of bubbly. Kind of reminds me of like a uh, glass, uh, glasses, uh, uh, glasses case over here. But uh, as you see here, um, I guess this charger. Put some in the game slots, and the system will probably go there. Really cool, really cool. I'm definitely glad because I love getting cases for my system. So uh, here we go. Opened little tape. Um, yeah, I've been really looking forward to this. I've been really excited about getting this, but uh, here we go. Welcome to the world of PlayStation. Your new PlayStation Vita system and AT&T's mobile broadband network will change the way you play and where you play it. Locate the connected AT&T icon uh, on your home screen to sign up today. 
visit usplaystation.com slash vita play uh, ps vita for more details the world is when you play on AT&T's mobile broadband network oh, okay here we go here's your charger your, your uh, these are AV cable your charger um, and it does come with a USB for people who were wondering if it came with or not because I know the PSP didn't so even when you bought it with a release here's your quick start guide um, you know bunch of stuff just telling you what to do obviously and I never need it because I've played games too much in my life to not know what the hell I do without further ado here it is the PlayStation Vita I've been dying to get my hands on this okay wow much bigger than a PSP just to prove it here's the PSP 3000 much bigger you see here in the back too it's a little hard for me to do it's much bigger um, much smoother it's gonna be a little uh, taking you to getting used to but I'm sure it's gonna be fine I love how smooth everything feels the back feels awesome the, the grips in the back feels really good as a camera right there um, some of the buttons I think the powers now appear compared to like the PSP where it used to be on the side uh, volumes on the top compared to how it used to be on the side as well um, there's a slot for the sim card I believe it is and uh, yeah there's the USB port and the headphone port so let's go and start this up if it has battery life let's see Okay, and the memory stick slot is there. Okay, there you go, it's booting up. Thought that it wasn't working for a second, like turning on, I thought it was dead. Go ahead and move my fan in case it's making noise. I'm so excited to play this. I hope you could put PSN Classics already on it. I'm dying to play my Resident Evils on this. Also, I do want to announce that I really, I mean, not announce, but I, I do hope that they do make a Resident Evil Portable the way they were supposed to for the PlayStation Portable, which never came out. If you could see it well. Um, okay, yeah. GMT. So yeah, Eastern Time Zone. February 15th, 2012. Why the hell would it start on 11? I guess the Japanese release. It is currently 11.39 a.m. So let's go ahead and put that. I will sign up later because I'm not that interested in any way. Yes, I do. Yes, I do. Okay, let me just go ahead and set all this router information and place this network information. Come right back. There we go. I have to, re I have to apparently do an update already to be able to get my uh, PlayStation Network working. So I skipped it, but I did have to enter my router password. So just showing you a bunch of stuff. Just telling you this already. This system feels awesome. I need to be able to put my PSN classics on this. I want to play so badly Resident Evil on this and more Castlevania Symphony of the Night, Metal Gear Solid, Silent Hill, that other stuff. Twisted Metal 2. Oh, sorry about that. I didn't even realize I was holding it all down. Okay, go ahead and see if I raise the volume up. Oh, you see the volume, actually, it says it down there. 
this is the home screen hint. The home screen uh, hint. The home. This is the home screen. The home screen is where you start applications. Welcome part is the starting point for your PlayStation Vita system experience. Tap the welcome icon to start the application. This is the application's library of screens. Now. Start the application. Press start. Uh, as you see here, mm, beautiful interface, no notifications, um, I don't even know if I, have, I don't think I have 3G on, shouldn't have it on, let's check out the welcome park, I'm supposed to just, you know, get this out of the way, to pause, yes, the PlayStation button, which is right here, Like I didn't know I was gonna catch that. Uh, it looks like they've been waiting to meet you. Why are they all orange? At Welcome Park, you can find out more about the features of your PlayStation Vita system. There are some tutorials that use the touch, tilt, camera, and microphone features. By using these tutorials, you'll become more familiar with how to use your PlayStation Vita system. Alright, let's go to the main menu. Oh. Select the icon of the tutorial you would like to play. Why don't you try a tutorial that uses touch first? Here you can try out some ways of using touch. Make the numbers disappear in the correct order. Do I want to do that? Really? You'll need to use the microphone for this tutorial. Record sounds and then experiment with what you've recorded. Hmm. Here's a tutorial that uses the camera. Can you find I'll do the camera one. that look like faces? This is an interesting way to get to learn the system. It's very different. Oh, sorry about that. I'm gonna exit all this stuff because it's like, you know, you're just gonna learn all this stuff normally, but, um, it's pretty Next, much... How about a tutorial that uses to okay, this is how it works. In the live area. Um, PSN store, now I gotta see if I do the update. So now the question is, how do you get to the update? Um... Okay, that makes sense. I was like, I know there's some way you could go down the screen. So start, no. Okay, yeah, I guess you have to go into that like that. Our settings, system update. They're using Wi-Fi. Okay, I'm gonna come back, and I am going to do an unboxing of both these lovely games. So stay tuned for that right now.